Hi, this is Zach Muir, editor of Spreadbet magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Thursday, October the 2nd. I'm starting off with Gulf Keystone, where we see the ongoing uh, drift uh, that's been uh, demonstrated on the daily chart. Uh, basically, since March, with the unfilled gap to the downside through £1.40, uh, this was then echoed uh, with an unfilled gap to the downside in uh, August. Uh, and we've had um, a retest of the August low at 61 pence to start October. Uh, there is a slight reaction there, a slight rebound there, as you would expect from a major support. Uh, but this is a triangle continuation pattern that we have, very familiar on uh, stocks such as Blinks and uh, Quindell. And uh, really, the minimum requirement here to get the st shares into a sort of bullish or stable mode would be uh, a break above this resistance line here from July at 68 pence, which is also the 10-day um, moving average level currently. Um, obviously, there are, there's an opportunity to go long as a bargain hunting exercise towards 61 pence, uh, but you'd have to remember that uh, an end of day close back below that level would uh, give us a new sell trigger. A best case scenario, probably above 61 pence at the moment, is that we get back towards the 50 day moving average level at 75 pence, uh, which has capped uh, the price generally all the way down uh, from the best levels of the year. Uh, next up is um, the aforementioned Quindell. Uh, here we've also got this sort of uh, bumping along the bottom type of scenario going on, a, a triangle formation, which is normally, as I said, uh, a continuation pattern. Uh, in this case, it, it would be to the downside. Uh, but there has been a bear trap rebound effect, uh, the low in August uh, £1.38 and the low in September £1.36. So uh, the shares making their, uh, doing their best to uh, sort of revive after that. As you can see, basically on the daily chart here, uh, Any time we've made a new low, there has been uh, some buying interest. Uh, there was that. Uh, there was that in June, and also in August. So you, we could get a rebound back towards the 50-day moving average level, uh, 175, 180, maybe as a best-case scenario, which would be the uh, May resistance line. But it has to be remembered that the overall flow here is still negative, and uh, really we are looking at just intermediate rallies. Uh, rather than uh, so far something which uh, represents uh, a major turnaround. Uh, at this stage, really, a weekly close above the 50-day moving average is about the minimum you uh, require to suggest that uh, Quindell is back on track as a bona fide bullish situation. Finishing off with uh, a, a, sort of, a sort of classic private investor favourite, uh, Rare Earth Minerals. Uh, here, the recent story is uh, the unfilled gap to the upside through the uh, 200 day moving average currently at 0 0.89 pence, uh, bull flag, and then another breakout, and then a sort of consolidation that we've seen since July, uh, basically um, towards the uh, 1.3 uh, pence level. Currently, we've got a, a support line from May running through uh, the 1.38 pence uh, zone, and uh, really we're waiting to see whether the shares can uh, rebound off the floor of this channel from May. Probably the best way forward here would be to wait for an end of day close uh, back above the 50 day moving average at 1.56 pence uh, as a momentum buy trigger just to make sure that we don't get caught up in the sort of uh, volatility that we've had here in September uh, that uh, basically is the stock taking up the slack of uh, a big move that we've already seen so far this year. Uh, probably the best uh, call here on the stock is to say that uh, above this low here which is from uh, July we're still uh, which is at 1.18 pence we're still on the bullish tack. Uh, and uh, we are looking for a target over the next one to two months as high as uh, 2.4 pence, which would be the top of the May channel. That's it from me. More updates at spreadbetmagazine.com.